I'm Mark Watson. I'm here with John Luke Roberts. Hello. Um, and this is a sort of potential new format called uh, About 20 Questions on a Bed. I don't know if the title will stay like that. Um, so John Luke, first of all, we'd just like to tell people what your what the name of the show is that you're touring. Uh, the name of my show is uh, All I Want to Do is FX Gunshots with an FX Gun Reloading and an FX Cash Register and Perform Some Comedy. It's been tricky, isn't it? Well, it is tricky to say. I don't normally yeah. say it. I sort of show people it. But you, you didn't flinch. Um, so I was going to ask you a few questions, some of them about the show, some of them are just more general things. Um, mm. So first of all, how much money have you got? Is it going well? Or? At the moment? Yeah, it's, yeah. I, it's, it's as exact as you can. Um, I have an unspecified amount of, of not much money. Okay. Yeah. You're just struggling a bit. Well, I, I just don't think, yeah, I'm struggling a bit. Okay. I'm doing about as well as you would expect. It's difficult time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the show is uh, references the Spice Girls. It's fair to say quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, which Spice Girls do you think you are most similar to? Of the real Spice Girls. Of the real Spice Girls. You can answer the question any way you like, either temperamentally or just. I um. Is there one you identify with? I guess, well, I, guess I identify with different bits of of the Spice Girls. I've, so my kind of, in terms of the part of me which is which doesn't like performing, and would rather be in fashion. I think very much that's posh spice. That's that's the bit of me which is like posh spice. Um, then there's part of me which always thinks, oh, I, I can go off and do this by myself. And actually, I would then go off and do it by myself and have a, a reasonably successful career with quite a few number ones. That's that's, that's, uh, that's Ginger, Ginger, Ginger Spice, yeah. Ginger Spice, yeah. Um, and then there's the part of me which it was just he's quite even, you know, nice and, and good at radio presenting. That's Baby Spice. Oh, this is it. So, yeah, 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 I think. Have, so in a way, you're all, you're all, we're all, all the Spice We all spice have bits. Spice, but yeah, yeah. I, I feel like different parts of me are different. You know, relate to different parts of Spice Girls. I'm very unlike. Sporty spice. Yes, you're not particularly sporty. Well, I'm reasonably sporty to be fair. I just um, she never really. Did, I mean, I guess she did some backflips, but she wore sportswear. She know, herself made... wasn't sporty. As you I don't think them. so. I mean, she wasn't really very. She, she wasn't not to a professional level. You didn't see her play in Wimbledon, for example. No, not like once. That. And I've watched quite a lot of Wimbledon. Exactly. I hope. Um, let's move on. If there was a um, that's it. Interview question. This, of course. But if there was a house fire. Which uh, bicycle would I save? Well, would you? Is there an item that you would save, or would you be more just focused on really getting out of the fire and whatnot? Yeah, I think I'd probably get out of. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd save. I Maybe think my sofa, but it's very big. Yeah, but so you've saved yeah, that. Yeah, I. You got to get out of the house, haven't you? Sure. If I had time to save the sofa, I probably would. Have, I'd the have time to put the fire. Big, big issue. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the logic. I do feel it's an odd question. That yeah, that's true. Up. Uh, what's the tallest tree you can remember climbing? Have you ever climbed an absolute rock or was climbing trees never for you? Um, I feel like you've just set this up so you can talk about the trees you've climbed. Oh, no, I don't have a tree climbing record at all. I don't. I mean, I've certainly seen you up a tree doing stand-up. Well, that's true, but that's about the highest I've ever been okay. tree-wise. I think a normal sized tree, I don't really think I've excelled myself there, but I don't think I've, you know, I've... I've you've you've not disgraced of... yourself. No, like I've been, I've, yeah, I, I, I'd never take on a tree I didn't think I could finish. Oh, maybe that's a character flaw. Because how can you learn? How can you grow if you never... Until you fall out of a tree and break your back? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've really got John Luke, so sort of um, a composite name. If you were to add another Christian name, let's go for three. Is Derek. One that... John Luke Derek Roberts. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, you do these shows as well as the this show called Adaptations, where you adapt um, very tricky works of various kinds. Is there a dream guest? Who would be the person you'd most like to perform with? Perform with? Or to perform in one of your shows, not necessarily alongside them. Ah, uh, yeah. It would probably be Stephen Burkoff. Burkoff, who does go to Edinburgh sometimes. He does go to Edinburgh sometimes. We tried to get him into one of the 24 hour shows once, but he didn't. Yeah. He turned it down yeah. and we wrote a rude song about him. That seems reasonable. Uh, if you could have I an see, act- the thing is, I don't, really like his, I don't really like his work. But it would be great to. I'd to like to have him on. It would draw some people on, and also I think people would look at me and go, you know what, he, he's. I think I'd prefer him to Burkoff. Yeah, that's right. That would be nice. Which would be yeah. worth, yeah. yeah. Um, it, similar sort of question. If you could have an extra penis, would you try it? Or would you be too worried about what could happen? That's my daughter calling. Well, yeah. I, I do think this might happen. I would, I, I'd, of course I'd try it. Yeah. I, I, I would too, but I would be, I'd be nervous. Yes, no. It's a classic. Um, if you could go back in time to any point, w- would you do it? Or would it be one of those things where you don't quite get around to it in the end? The stroke don't really want to. I think it, I probably wouldn't get around to it. And um, by the way, you don't know for sure that you're coming back because none of us knows how time travel works. Oh, oh yeah, def- definitely not then. So there's a chance of just sort of I like, just get the uh, de uh, um, like I go into lots of bits and then don't get back together. I don't think we can dismiss that possibility. Yeah, we don't I, know I'd rather happen. not. Yeah, I think yeah, fair enough. Okay, I'll give it to someone else. Um, 
This is more of a physical question. Are you good at um, are you good at tickling? Yeah, I'm not bad. Okay, but it depends. If someone's not ticklish. No, I am ticklish. Uh, do, do you want to tickle me to show what you're sort of capable of? I can give it a go. Yeah, I just think. I know we haven't addressed it yet. It's a bit weird. Don't. Um... Oh, you, you, you love yeah, that. Yeah, I'm ticklish. You really brace yourself. Yeah. But I think the best tickler is one who doesn't even have to tickle. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you see? Right. Yeah. No. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're good at tickling. Thank you. Uh, easy one. Have you been to Amsterdam? Yes. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Looks, yeah. Um, I like the pancakes. Oh, mm. something different, I suppose. Um, well, it's on the subject of food, there's been some sort of problem with potatoes, and you can only one form. Has there? This well, in this question, oh. it is, I posit that there has a risk. Um, how so you can only ever have like mash or chips or roast. You can only oh, have, right. For okay. the rest of your life, you can only have one type of potatoes. How? What do you go for? Roast. Always roast potatoes. Always roast, yeah, yeah. You'll never have chips again. You'll never well, have. Because no, you can always just slice the roasts up so that they're sort of chip shaped. Yes, I suppose it's a flaw in the question, isn't it? Yeah. All I know is not mashed. Not mashed, right? Well, it's, I mean, I, I like mashed, but not all the time. Mm, it would be, it would have been my answer. But it's not about me. Really? I love mashed. Yeah. Such an effort. Oh, no, oh, oh, like, but if someone else makes it. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I suppose that's the thing. Someone else is going to cook for you for your whole life. Anyway, I do love. Oh, you get a bit mashed. Um, Lady Gaga, do you, do you think you'll? Ever meet Lady Gaga in the rest of your life? Do you think it's. Is there a realistic chance of it happening? I think there's a realistic chance. But I'm going to say no, because then I think that makes it more likely to happen. Yeah, and also you'd be more exciting once you. Yeah, if I'd like, no, it will never happen to me. And then. Ah. Um, I think that's the best approach. You can't rule it out, but nor should you go through life expecting it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Although, if I did go through life expecting it, I could possibly do one of those things on my deathbed where I say, I just want to meet Lady Gaga. Uh, yeah. She comes in. And then she would, it would be a, yeah, your dying request is, yeah. is maybe. But you could meet her and then ask to meet her again for your dying request, I suppose. So, uh, I, I think that'd be weird. I, 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 be, I feel a bit creepy. Imagine if your last request was to meet Lady Gaga for the second time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, next one, how are you? Should have started with that, really. I'm not bad. Yeah, cool. I thought I'd put it in here instead. Um, I'd ask you how you were, but it doesn't. It's no, it's not. This is contrary to the format. Yeah. Uh, back to trees. If you had to guess how many trees there are in England, in not, England. not the whole of the UK, just in England. Oof. What? What? And I don't have the answer to this, of course. But it's a big, isn't it? I'd be. I. If you had to guess. No, I. I guess like. It's hard, no. I have no idea. No, I'm not really. Five thousand, but that seems like either wildly <laughs> low or wildly high. <laughs> I, I don't. Five thousand is a great. It's low, isn't it? That's low, it's very low. I, I don't you think, think maybe a million. I mean, I, I will Google like it. Like a we, million while trees. While we continue with this, I'll Google it. A million trees? A million seems, I've got no idea. How many this is why I'm that? asking you, it's bloody hard. Oh, there are a lot more than that. 60 million people. But there's, people. Definitely, there's definitely a lot more people in London than there are trees in London. How, yeah, that's true. How many but trees? But then in the rest, I wonder where, where in the country it's the other way around and there are more trees than forests, I guess, generally. Well, in fact, it says that between 2010 and 2015, there were 11 million trees planted as part of governmental schemes. So. Bloody hell, oh my it? god! There's so many trees. That's, that's a lot more than I guess. But then there's also a fact check. So there's three trillion trees in the world. All sorts of trees in the world, according to something. Yeah. Blame me. Um, do you know where Derby is roughly? Would you be confident in finding Derby on a map? Uh, I could get uh, roughly. Yeah, not. I couldn't pinpoint it exactly no. without the name. But these Midlands sort. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been, been there. Had to do it, wasn't it? Uh, and on that note, in fact, you're travelling, you're touring around with your show. Is there anywhere you're particularly looking forward to going uh, on this tour? Have everywhere. Tour again? Everywhere. I just want, I want to go everywhere. All these places are my favourite places in the, in the UK. Very good. Uh, especially so your, your, especially your town. I'm coming, darling. Yeah, and he means that. Mm -hmm. Couple more. What's the do biggest? Do you want to go and, do you want to? Yeah, well, no, I don't really want to want to. Yes, darling. Something's happened to the TV. Okay, I'll sort it out in just a second, okay? I'm interviewing John Luke Roberts, the avant-garde comedian. Both times when you've done this, you've sort of gone out of your way to uh, act like you're a kind, considerate, and, and sort of good example of parenting. But and I wonder whether you're just doing that because I'm here. It's impossible to know, and because this goes online yeah, as well, yeah, so there's yeah. all, sorts, yeah. uh, all sorts of reasons to do that. Uh, what is the biggest problem you've got at the moment? In, in any aspect. Ooh, yeah. it's a big question, isn't it's it? It's huge, actually, yeah. My partner lives in America. Yeah, that's a, that is a bummer, isn't it? That's, in America, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes, yes, Rose? 
This is a lot of exposure for her as well, so you can see why she's doing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but I've well, got two more questions, really. I'm um, coming. Do you like ham? Yes. Good. We got through that one. And the last question is, what do you, what would you like from your career? Not necessarily materially, but what would you like your work to stand for? It's an easy one, really, to finish. It, it, I would like ham. some people. What would you like people to say about you as your legacy? Or, you know? I love that. I'd like some people to say that. You'd like some and people to say, oh, I love that. And you already, that already has happened, isn't it? I guess I'd like a few more then. Fair enough. Mm. How, how many? How many people would you like to like you? Uh, one, 105,000. 105,000 fans. Well, uh, if you would like to be one of those fans, you can. You should go and see John Luke, whose show is really funny. And a lot of it isn't like this. It's very different, actually, from this. <laughs> yes. uh, and for the second time in 10 minutes, it's time for me to go and help my daughter. Thank you, John Luke. Thank you've, you. You've been watching around 20 questions on a bed, but it could be edited differently from that. Bye. <laughs>